Hello, today I'm going to talk about EXPR, which stands for Expression Reader. A little about myself, my name is Giovanni and here's my full name. I am 15 years old, I'm currently a 10th grader and I live in Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia. We'll start with the problems, which is also the basic reason for this idea. Many applications offer different services depending on the user's preferences, including feelings and expressions. The first problem is, it takes time. Let's take an example. There is an application that allows you to listen to thousands of songs. The developer wants to create a new feature that gives song recommendations according to the user's current feeling, such as happy, sad, and etc. Wouldn't it be annoying for the users if they are asked the same question every time they open the app, asking, how are you feeling today? Another reason is that not everyone is comfortable in expressing their feelings, resulting in less accurate detection. The solution to this problem is EXPR, which is an AI-assisted face expression detection program. The idea itself is quite simple. Nowadays, many mobile phones have a face unlock feature that allows users to unlock their phones just by showing their faces. I plan to link this program with that particular phone security feature so that the user's expression can automatically be detected. In this way, the user doesn't have to worry about taking another photo. Also, this program implements the Fisher Face algorithm in its face recognition systems, which extracts principal components that separate one individual from another. One of the reasons why I chose this algorithm is because there is no sensitive impact even if there is a change in the direction of light and is more reliable compared to other algorithms which will result in better detection. Let's continue on the usage. Later on, the data collected by this program can be used by other applications such as music and health monitoring applications to improve their services. Here are the five big ideas. First, the perception is by facial recognition through cameras. The representation and reasoning is the existence of the EXPR program and how it provides data related to the user's expressions. The learning process is observational learning by detecting facial expressions. The natural human AI interaction is mostly done automatically when the AI captures the user's facial expressions. And the social impact is that it simplifies the information gathering process especially related to expressions. Now, there are some pros and cons. The program eases the facial expression detection process and collects useful data that can also be used by other applications. However, the security of gathered data in the earlier stages of development may be weak, which can also impact the user's privacy as the data gathered were sensitive and personal. Now is the time for the demo. Unfortunately, Due to lack of time, the Fisher Face algorithm hasn't been applied yet to this demo as it requires further development. So, I use machine learning to demonstrate the program. I've trained the AI by putting samples of different expressions I made. And let's see if it works. So now, I'm going to test using my webcam. So, it recognizes my face as happy with 85% confidence. Let's try another expression. It is fully confident that I am sad with 100% confidence. Let's try another expression. It recognizes me as angry with 56% confidence. Maybe it's harder to determine whether someone is angry or not. Alright, I also use Scratch to explain how other applications can also be linked to the program. Let's try. So, it detects my expression as happy. Let's try one more time. So it knows that my face is angry. It's kind of hard to make an angry face. All right, let's continue. 
so special thanks to my coding teacher and my parents who have been supporting me all this time and here are some references that I use thank you very much for your attention and have a good day